Jason has a question. Uh, with all the platforms for online video coming out, Apple, Amazon, Skill Succeed, U Learning, Skillshare, Udemy, quite a list there. Which two do you think will be the biggest winners or show the most potential? What do you think, Phil? Because you have the most experience. You've got your videos on a bunch of different platforms. Which do you yeah. think show the most? Let me ask, let's put it this way. Which, which are doing the best for you right now? And which do you think will do best for you in the long term? Yeah, right now Udemy is still the main breadwinner. <clears throat> it's in terms of the quantity of students enrolling in my classes and the income. It is probably consistently two thirds to three quarters of my online teaching income every month. Skillshare has been very consistent for me. Um, I have been averaging between three and four thousand dollars on Skillshare for the past year, and nice. it maintains that strength. It seems like Skillshare is going to be around for a long time. They've picked that sort of. I know they say, and I think Jake was talking about when Jake was on our show talking about Skillshare, which you guys should check out that show because it was really a great introduction to Skillshare. He was talking about how Skillshare does to appeal to the business-minded students, to other students rather than the art type creative field. But right now I feel like that's their strength. And I don't, I, while I want them to expand their market so that more people get on the platform. So teachers like you and other people here who don't have those creative classes have success on it. I also don't necessarily think that they should compete with Udemy because they have such a st strong brand already for that creative type. Um, so it, it'll see, it'll be interesting to see where they go in the future, but, uh, it just seems like they have a really strong base of students right now. And, uh, so I'm excited about them, but for me, I'm most excited about Amazon right now. Um, just in terms of creating a consistent passive income <clears throat> stream, there's these other platforms like skill success and um, let me just check out the other ones that I have my courses on right now that are doing decently. Stack Commerce. So Stacks uh, Social was a deal site. They did a lot of deals on everything. They started doing online course deals with Stack Skills. And now they've actually just launched a new platform called SkillWise. Hmm. So SkillWise.com, I think. And it just launched today, I believe. I had some classes that they had promoted previously. So some of my classes got onto SkillWise right now, and they have a pretty decent size of, of audience, I think. And so it'll be interesting to see if what they can do. Um, so I have class on that now, and I've, I'm testing out amazing.com. Um, just look, going through the list of all these other platforms and some other ones that don't bring in money and all those other ones, I feel like they're never, I don't see them as growing and beating you to me or even getting to the point of Skillshare. The only one I see doing that is Amazon, uh, right now, Amazon, I just checked my dashboard and I'm still waiting to have my actual courses published, but I've had a lot of standalone videos published and hmm. so far in june i've made about four bucks <laughs> so that's awesome um in may i think i ended up making about eight bucks and that was just with five or six videos published for half of may and wow i'm guessing and i just had a bunch of videos published yesterday and so, because I'm getting my closed captions done and everything. So I'm guessing this month I might be able to hit 50 bucks on Amazon. And that's just from prime, the Pro Amazon prime views. That's not from selling anything yet. So, huh. just so that's a lot knowing, of views. Yeah. So just knowing how powerful Amazon is, seeing that it's actually starting to work already. It just gives me a lot of hope. So. I don't know. That's a lot of me rambling about this stuff, blabbing, but what about you, Dave? What's going what's best for you right now? And what do you think is going to be the best? Well, I'm actually so much newer to the game, Phil. So I'm, I'm primarily on Udemy and Udemy's doing well for me. Uh, it's a, it's always hard to tell at the beginning of the month. And I always see people get kind of bummed out at the beginning of the month because, Hey, you're starting fresh, right? 
your 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 dollar figures start at zero at the beginning of the month and typically the first few days are kind of low and slow and they take it takes a while to, to build up and then you run some promotional announcements and and things kick into gear but what i'm seeing happening with my udemy income is that i have income that comes in automatically every month from promotional uh, coupons that I have at the end of each of my courses. So at the end of each course, I put related courses and coupons to those related courses. And there is a good amount of sales that just come in naturally from that, uh, which is good. So if you guys aren't doing that, you really need to do that. And then I'll run promotional announcements and those will give me a boost. And then Udemy Organic kicks in and does pretty well. So. Udemy has been my main uh, source, and the next one I'm I'm really the, the other one I'm really doing well on right now is uh, Amazing.com. The only thing about Amazing.com is they're they're very new in this in this field, just like everybody else, and they're catering to small business courses. So if you have courses that are not related to small business, they're not the place for you. They won't. They won't take your courses. The other thing about amazing.com is they just sent out an announcement that they are limiting their new courses that they're gonna publish to just Amazon related topics. So unless you have, uh, and, and the reason is they come from the Amazon selling world, people selling on Amazon. They did big launches with a product about how to sell on Amazon. And so they wanna keep that that focus on you know, what their core strength is. So. I do have a couple of courses about Amazon and about selling on Amazon that are going to get published. But I, I think for the for the time being, for the next, uh, at least until August, they said, they're not going to be publishing new courses. And I gave them like 20 of my courses <laughs> to publish, but I think they only published about six or seven before they instituted this little kind of uh, putting the bricks on. Change, yeah. Yeah, publishing courses. So. Anyway, Amazing is the one that is doing well for me only because, again, my courses are related to e-commerce, and so they're a good fit there. And then the third platform I'm, I'm working on is Skillshare, and I've got my first course that I'm just starting to get up there, and I just need to finish it and get it, you know, get it done. Basically create a project for Skillshare because on Skillshare they want you to have projects uh, for your courses that, that the students get to do. So that's going to be, you know, thanks to Phil and his, he's doing three or 4,000 a month on Skillshare. That's going to be where I'm going to put more of my courses. Uh, that would be the next place where I put my course. I also have my courses on ulearning.com. Uh, right now, they're very, very slow because they're, they're also just getting started. So uh, they're more of a long-term play for me where down the road, once they get their traffic going and their platform going, they look like they could potentially be a competitor to Udemy. Uh, but right now, they're a very slow play. We're just we're just waiting, you know, on that. Yeah. So with you with you learning, are you making any sales right now, or is I, it just? I've I've really just made a couple of sales there. Um, nothing major, and mm -hmm. primarily because I, I I've got a little insight, and I know that they've got a plan and they're working their plan and they are a startup and i know that at some point when they really kick into gear they're going to be really cranking uh, some sales driving a lot of traffic to their platform and that's the one to to look out for so um if you have extra time and this is to everybody out there if you guys have extra time and you're willing to publish your courses there that's a good long-term play that's a good situation where you put your courses up there and then whenever they kick into gear, you're going to see some sales come out of it. I have really good um, confidence about that platform in the long run. Short run, you know, you just got to wait it out. You got to wait till they hit their stride and they get things going. So, yeah, there's one more platform that I've been working with called Cyber U, cyberletteru.com, and they are their parent company is Cornerstone Cornerstone Media Group, I think Cornerstone On Demand. And Cornerstone On Demand is a company that provides this back-end system for a lot of corporate training. So if you ever have been on a been at a job where you've had to do some sort of training, whatever it is, um, 
I don't know. I can't think of, the last one that I that I had to sit through was uh, at UC Berkeley, and there's been a lot of um, sexual assault kind of issues with universities. So we had to do do a whole training on all of that, and so all of that back end system is put by put on by Cornerstone on demand. But the CEO sees this online education taught by people like you and me as a, a good opportunity to to create their own platform yeah. and they already have thousands of companies using their platforms using the content that they provide and it sounds like those companies want training for their employees uh, like training that we're providing and they don't want to just go to lynda.com and pay lynda.com to share their content they want to have their own content on their own platform and so this is another long-term play. I don't think they're they're still in a beta phase, but they are trying to launch in July, I believe. It's called cyberu.com. So if they do blow up, you heard it from me first. And uh, I, I'm putting some of my courses on there. I haven't made any sales. And it's just hard to see. Like I've stopped putting my courses on every platform that I hear about because it takes a lot of time and half the time it doesn't turn into any results. I only put courses on platforms where I know my other co-instructors are making money or very rarely when I actually speak to the person that's on the team or from that website or whatever face to face or on the phone and get a better sense from them. And that's, I actually talked to the people at CyberU. I met with them. They have their offices actually here in LA. So I kind of got their story and we'll see about them. Um, but that's just another one to keep out your ear out for.